A showdown of sorts with Hollywood liberal icon Bette Midler. To be fair, Bette started it when she lashed out at Senator Joe Manchin on Twitter saying, quote, Joe Manchin wants us all to be like his state, West Virginia, poor, illiterate, and strung out. But West Virginia Governor Jim Justice had the state's back. From that standpoint, baby dog tells Bette Midler and all those out there, kiss her honey. <laughs> Governor, Governor Justice joins us now with a very special guest. Baby Dog is here too. Governor, first of all, congratulations on your on your amazing, amazing little little, little thing there. Um, you know, Bette Midler. I, yeah, for me, Bette Midler. I, I was like Bette Midler. Who? I, she hasn't been relevant since since the '80s. So. But you, you had, your, you had your, your senators back and you had your states back. Tell us what happened. Well, I, I'll tell you the honest truth. You know, I don't have time in my life to be in a spat with Bette Midler. I mean, of all things, you know, I can't help it if she, uh, you know, has got a burr up her behind, you know, about West Virginia and, and, and spouts out, you know, negative comments about West Virginia. The people of West Virginia are fantastic. And, uh, they're the best people. They're absolute craftsmen and they're faith-based and they're, they know the difference between right and wrong and they're hardworking people that believe in getting their hands dirty and, uh, and, and getting right at it and working. You know, they, they're absolutely more active and more veterans in the military per capita than any state in the country and uh, so many different things. But I can tell you this, and, and it's honest to goodness true, you know, I walked in the door, we were on a little tough times in West Virginia, but, uh, but it isn't that way right now. I mean, we are absolutely killing it. West Virginia has is, is, is risen to the top and become the diamond in the rough and the destination that, uh, that travelers want to come to like crazy. And, you know, tourism is exploding. We're building roads everywhere. We've got surplus after surplus. We've made, us, uh, made our way through this pandemic, you know, and led the nation in lots of different ways. So we got a lot to be really proud of in West Virginia. And, uh, and one of them probably isn't Bette Midler right now or those Hollywood elites, but, uh, but that's... Uh, you know, that, we'll just leave it at that. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can leave it at that with Bet. But I tell you something else that I know a thing or two about. Spent 20 years in the oil business. Thank God for West Virginia and some of your energy production there. This country's really sucking wind right now under the, the Democrats' idea of shutting down, you know, fossil fuel production and relying on overseas production. But West Virginia, one of the one of the heartbeats of, of American um, of fuel production. Thank God for you guys. If you don't mind, I hear you have a, a special guest with you. Do you have Baby Dog with you? I By do, chance. and I, while I'm while I'm getting, it, I want to tell you just one thing. You know, how are we going to make steel without coal? Really and truly, how's this country going to go without natural gas and thermal coal today? I mean, it is frivolous, absolutely frivolous, to believe we can do that today. We want to embrace the alternative energies, no question. We all do. We do in West Virginia as well. But at the end of the day, today, unless you want to freeze your hind end off you know, or, or absolutely, you know, sweat your hind end off in the middle of the summer, you know, we've got to have those energies today. But anyway, I've got baby dog right here. If, you know, I, I'm going to ask Speaking of that, Heine, speaking of that, Heine. Yeah, here she comes. That's the Heine you, you, you she, offered Bette Bet Bet Midler Heine. to kiss. Okay, <laughs> come here, baby. <laughs> baby okay. dog right there. This is my little girl. Well, the balance is big. Balance is big fans of dogs. We, we, we're all about the dogs. We're all about energy production in America. We're all about Governor Jim Justice as well. Governor, you got baby dog in your lap with you. One final message to Bette Midler. What's your final thought? Oh, I'd say get over it, Bette. For God's sakes, live and be happy. Look at this face. The great thing about baby dog is she makes us smile and she, she loves everybody. And that's exactly what we ought to be doing in this country, especially with this pandemic and all that's going on in this world today. We ought to, we ought to try to be smiling and we ought to love everyone. You know, nevertheless, thank you guys. All right, Governor Jim Justice, thanks for bring, bringing Baby Dog along. Thanks for joining us, sir. All right, thank you guys.